Hi, welcome to this video post for Spice of Your Log, in which we're going to look at uh, your feed burner email subscriptions and how you can optimize, personalize the way that these uh, your emails are delivered from FeedBurner. Um, so there's a number of things we're going to look at um, from basically from the time when somebody actually signs up for your email subscription. So when they, they click on the link to, to sign up or add their email into the form, they will be sent out a confirmation email and you can actually personalize the text in that email. Um, so we'll show you how to do that. Um, that's, I guess, important just to make sure that more and more, more people actually do continue through, click the confirmation link and subscribe because we recently covered in the post how an awful lot of people will enter their email and not actually complete the subscription. Another thing we're going to look at is how your emails are delivered every day. So when you write your posts and they're delivered uh, to people's emails to have to, to people's inboxes to have subscribed, you can actually make a couple of changes to how that email appears in the subject line and in the title of the email that's sent out. Um, and we'll also look at the delivery options as in the time that your email will be sent. So uh, a good example of this is what I've set up for both Spice Up Your Blog here and our templates like bestbloggertemplates.net and one of the things I've set up is if there's more than one post being sent out so if I write more than one post in a day and that's been sent out to the email subscribers um, I've changed the subject line to let people know that there's more than one post in the email and this is important because if the latest post you wrote um, is usually sent out as the subject line so when somebody sees the subject line of your email being sent out all they see is the name of the latest post and if that's not a post they're interested in they're not going to click into the email yet there may be five more posts in the email so one of the things I've set up is that you straight away will know that there's more than one post and I'm going to show you exactly how I've done that by looking at my email inbox and the latest two emails I got for Spice Up Your Blog and Best Blogger Templates done that. Okay, so we're here at my, my email inbox and the last two emails I got are kept here from bestbloggertemplates.net and Spice Up Your Blog. And you can see the subject line here because on both of them uh, blogs on the day I published two posts and for bestbloggertemplates.net here you can see two cool new templates including iDesigner which is the name of the late, latest one and for Spice Up Your Blog two awesome new posts including a simple stylish jQuery featured slideshow. Um, so straight away you know that there's two posts in this email and if that's if you've published 10 on the day that will say 10 um, now if I'd not made this change the subject line would basically be I designer feature packed and for spice Up Your blog it would be a simple stylish jQuery featured slideshow and if you aren't interested in either of those you're not going to click in and see the extra post but because I have the, the number of posts you know there's an extra one in there and you're more likely to, to, to click in so that's very very important if you do publish more than one post on most days that's really really important to get people clicking in and reading those emails so we're going to show you how to do that and how to make it a couple of other changes so the first thing you'll need to do is head over to your feed burner account and I presume most of you have a feed burner feed by now if you don't you should do um, and we have posts on Spice of Your Blog showing you how to set that up um, so when you head over to your FeedBurner account, just click on the name of the of your blog, which should be on the home page. And when you click on that, you can come in and click publicize, as I've done here. And we're on this publicize page here for Spice Up Your Blog. And down the sidebar here, we see email subscriptions. Um, and we've a number of options under that, which is subscription management, communication preferences, email branding, and delivery options. And subscription management is basically just um, gives you a couple of links and some HTML here for a form, to add a form for people to enter their email, a link, and I presume you've all done that before, so we're not going to look too deeply into that. So we're going to do a look at first at communication preferences. And this communication preferences is actually the email that's sent out when people have first subscribed and they're going to confirm. So when they get that confirmation link out, this is how it appears. And what you can change here, I've reset this to default, what you can change here is the email from address. So when they get their email out, it'll be from, and as you can see here under the default, this is no reply at blogger.com. Now to me, that's not, that's not great, you know, because they're subscribing to Spice Up Your Blog and they're getting an email from no reply at blogger. So I would actually change that to one of my email addresses. So I just go paul at spiceupyourblog.com. Um, 
And now when they get the email out, it'll be from Paul at SpicyBeerBlog.com. That just looks better. If you have a Gmail or a Yahoo, you can just throw that in there and it just looks a little bit better. The second part is to come out the email subject. And by default, it's activate your email subscription to and the name of your blog. Um, I would leave that the way it is, but you can change it or personalize it. And this third part here is the actual message that they get in the email. So see, hello there, you recently requested an email subscription to Spicy Beer Blog and on and on. And below that, you have here is the the code that works out the confirmation link. That's where the confirmation link will be. So you can change that to hello there, Paul from Spicy Beer Blog. Thanks for subscribing. Make sure and click the link below or something like that. And once you're done, make sure and save. And now you've changed the actual email that's been sent out for people to confirm. The next part is email branding. And this is the actual emails that are sent out every day with your posts. And as we see the subject line here is Spice Up Your Blog. I'm happy enough with that. And the next part is the part which I have changed, and I think it's important to change, is to change the subject when an email has two or more items. Okay, so you can see here how I have, as we've seen when we looked at my inbox for Spice of the Blog, two awesome new posts, including in the name of the latest post. And you can see here what I've added to do that. I've added this little snippet here, which creates the number of posts that's in the email. Then I have the awesome new post including, and then I have this snippet which creates the name of the latest title. And all these snippets are down here. So this is the piece that will create the name of the latest title. If you want to put in the name of your latest title plus X amount more, this snippet will show the amount of posts um, apart from the latest post. This one will create the complete amount. And uh, I might explain that a bit more in the post, maybe in text, and have these and show you some examples of how it's done. Um, but all, all the snippets are here that you might need to change how that goes out. And the big thing for me is that you make it known as quickly as possible that there's more than one post in this or how many posts there is. So if you have 10 posts, you want to make it as quick as possible. People know there's 10 posts instead of only seeing one post title. Okay, so the next part is our logo. And you can add a, a logo with a maximum of 200 by 200 pixels that will appear in the top right. Um, and you did something simple would do, which I have in there, and it's added with the logo URL. And then you can change just the fonts and colors of how your email appears. And once you're done with that, click Save, and your next email that goes out will, will include those details. So the really important one, I think, is to change the subject line if you have more than two items. The last part below is delivery options, and this is when your actual email is sent out. Um, so a good example for this would be if you were blogging, for example, in, in Australia, and most of the people who read your blog were Australian, it makes sense that you would set your time zone to Australian time zone, and you would schedule your email to be sent out in the evening time in Australia. Um, I actually have mine set up here for Central US time between 7 and 9 p.m., um, which actually where I am in Ireland is about 3 o'clock in the morning. Most of the people who read my blog, the biggest figures are from the US, so it makes sense to have it at a good time for that audience. So you can change that around to suit who reads your blog, and once you're done, click Save. And that's it. That's some really simple ways to change, and to say, optimize and personalize how your feed burner emails are sent out. If you have any questions, uh, you can drop a comment. If you're watching this on YouTube or elsewhere, we'll have a link in the description to come back to the post and spice up your blog. And thanks for watching the video.